So for those of you joining, this is a uh, short, uh, small little circuit that uh, will allow me to send Morse code. Um, I had to put it on hold before because I didn't have these one mega ohm resistors. I have a bunch of resistors and just, I guess I ran out of that size. <clears throat> so I guess the first thing I gotta do here though is I need to put some leads on the, these uh, pressure sensors and so that they can go into the breadboard. I'm just doing a, I'm just doing a layout here and then eventually I'll move all the stuff on the breadboard over to something else. My stuff is in this bag here. Just gotta pull out some uh, wire and then solder it to the pressure sensors. Here's a bunch. So I did have black and red at one point, but now I just have the red, which is fine. It's it work just fine. I'll just snip off a little there and. I don't know how long these leads need to be. Maybe I can do four out of this. Again, that's the uh, schematic there. All right, here's the... Get these wire strippers and get these so that I can get them ready for soldering. There's one. And there's another. Okay, so these two ends here will go on that pressure sensor and then I'll be able to plug the other ends into the uh, breadboard. I'm gonna even them out here and then I'm gonna strip them as well. <clears throat> Both ends. One. That didn't quite work. There we go. Here's some solder right here from last time. <clears throat> I'm not quite sure how, maybe with this board here, this wood, because I don't know if these sensors will, let's see, maybe I can do that. Can't quite see that, let me tilt it. All right, I'm just gonna lay it on there like that. Can you zoom? I can't zoom, that's all right. Let me bring it in a little closer. Turn on my fan so I don't get all the chemicals. I think that connected. That's, yep, that one's done. So, <clears throat> again, there's not enough metal here to put in the breadboard, so I'm just adding just some extra wire on the ends. Where'd that other one go? Here it is. And this is a uh, let me. This is a pressure sensor. It's a, it uh, uh, activates with pressure on the finger there. All right. Let's see if I can get this one now to solder. I don't know how far I'll get today because. I work and this is just my lunch break, but we'll, we'll see. That might've worked. Yep. All right. So they're both there connected now. Move this out of the way. In the bed breadboard. <clears throat> so the circuit says that uh, 
here's the sensor, right? So um, we need to go to a VCC to the voltage on one end, and then the other end eventually will go to ground, but it goes uh, through a diode with uh, the G, which I think is the uh, collector, and then uh, to through this uh, one mega ohm resistor into ground. So let me plug that in accordingly. So what we'll do is I'm just going to choose maybe line 15 here and just put it in the middle so there's room on either side. And then I will extend that to um, the voltage rail. All right, so oh, let me turn it this way. All right, so there's that one. And at some point, I'm going to want to be able to tap on that, so I'm just going to extend it kind of like that over the top so I'll be able to touch it. <clears throat> All right, where's my resistor? Okay, this is a... One mega ohm resistor, brown, black, green. Although the green you can hardly make out just because of the way it is. But uh, grab one of these. And so it says on the schematic we're going from, so the, the one end here goes to volt to, to volt the VCC through the sensor. So VCC through the sensor to here. So then I need to make a connection to. Um, right there, show you. So that the wire here from the sensor, it'll end up going through that uh, through that res resistor, and then the resistor goes to ground. So that's one portion of it. So I'll just bend this over to ground. All right. So it looks like that. So again, we've got the VCC, this wire coming from VCC through the sensor, back down through to row 15, and then I've got the uh, one mega ohm resistor from 15 to ground. So that's <clears throat> half of it. Now I gotta get this, this transistor. And I actually uh, looked it up. I don't know if you can see the number on there. It's, it's a, uh, there, 85170. Uh, and it's a transistor. So, oops. So what I did was I went ahead and um, printed out the uh, data sheet on it, and just so I can get the uh, proper routing of the pins. So pin G, um, you'll see, is the gate. So pin that's pin two, the middle one. So when the way I'm looking at this, where'd that go then? So the flat, flat portion is facing. And so on here, the flat portion will be facing. And so it's the middle one. Either way, it doesn't matter, I guess, if it's middle, right? <laughs> so middle goes into rail 15 as well. So let me get, get that middle one separated out. And then I'll, just for convenience, I'll put, uh, I'll put one of the, each of the other I'll put the drain and the source each on their own rail as well. So first things first, I think that's going to work like that. Oh, didn't quite get it to where I wanted it. Rail 15. All right. So it might be a little hard to see, but I've got the middle pin going to rail 15. And that matches the schematic where, you know, we wanted to have, uh, basically, it comes from the sensor. One uh, one path goes through the resistor into ground. The other path goes into the gate of the transistor. So that's what that's what I got here. I've got uh, from from VCC through, then back to to rail 15, and then so we've got the resistor on one side, and then into the transistor on the other and you can see that I have uh, the I guess it would be the uh, let me look at my schematic here it would be the pin one which is the drain is going into rail 16 and then the source is going into pin 17 or rail 17 so they're on different tracks there so that's it so far
All right, the next step would be to make that final connection with uh, the transistors. And so, let's see, for the schematic, so the drain, which is gonna be on, uh, on rail 16, is uh, gonna go to, looks like the middle, let's see, the inside of, the, uh, of this uh, 3.5 millimeter jack. So let me find what I did with that. Here it is. I'm gonna turn off my solder, solder station for right now. And my fan. Done soldering. Made in China. All right, so let's see here. We are building, so hi, Otto, uh, death, uh, do, how does it, uh, <laughs> I don't know how to do your name, Hollywood. Otto, Doc Hollywood. Okay, got it, Doc Hollywood. Cool, cool. I love that show, Doc Hollywood. Um, what I'm building is a um, Morse code touch sensor paddle. Uh, these are touch sensors right here. <clears throat> it's a very simple schematic. What I'm doing is I'm laying out the breadboard right now for this for this uh, schematic and then What I'm going to do after is I'm going to put it and build it and put it inside this enclosure and use it as a Morse code paddle I'm just going to be able to you know squeeze it like this and be able to send and receive Morse code um, Actually not that these sorry <laughs> this here. It's a little big for portable use, but I'm, I'm a portable ham radio guy and so I do portable Morse code out in the mountains and stuff like that. So this this uh, container right here is what I'm looking to put it in. So I'll, I'll put the uh, the sensor will kind of go, you know, I'll, it'll adhese to the t outer edge of this uh, and I'll be able to push and push either side. So that's what I'm building. Um, Bo, I, ha I hope the cable have have some copper. Well, <laughs> well, yeah, look here, it's uh, um, they're really small. I might have to get a different one. Is that what you're saying? There's not a lot, there's not a lot there to put in the breadboard, is there? <laughs> so, yeah, so let's see. So the middle is going to be red, I think. And so um, red's going to go right here in, I had to just, I need to actually get the voltmeter out at some point in, double check that. But for right now, let's just say that red is going to be, um, well, let's see here. I think red goes to the the inner pin. So it red is, is going to be this inner one right here. And then, um, the ground or the outer is going to go over here to the DA. So it's going to go over to the, to another transistor that I have. Uh, let's just get this one side finished though. And I'll just, I'll just add, uh, this connection here to the middle and that's just it's going to be as simple as where'd that go now yeah you know what this is not going to have enough i'm gonna to have to probably solder something onto here as well that's just so small if i put that in the in the breadboard i don't know that they'll make a, a good connection i guess it will i'll put it here for now and see so rail uh, 17 this is the thing with bread, why you use a breadboard because, you know, if you solder it, then you have to unsolder it. But if you use the breadboard, you get it all laid out and, and working properly. <clears throat> I plan to hook it up and, and, and run with it for a bit before I actually. So. All right. So I have this, these little, these things here. And what I need to do is I need to connect the source pin. Oops. The source pin to, to ground so I mentioned that the source pin was pin 3 and I keep going back and forth on whether it's right or not but I think it's source 3 is right here oh, that's not gonna be long enough I need to get me a longer Let's see if I can find where those connectors are I have a whole bunch of wires in this bag but yeah you can't see the bag but I'm going to dig in here and see if I can get me some. All right. So here's kind of the box I use. It just has different size wires. Um, I had that when I went to electronics school. That's This is what we use to build out with. So, um, so the source, the 
is going to be pin 3, so pin 3 needs to go to ground, so that's there. So I did have it right and then wrong and then right again and then we're now wrong again. So let's see, let's get this in here. Come on. Get in there. I'll pull this up and show you once I get everything connected. I'll zoom in for you. But I need to get it connected first. All right. <laughs> And I'm going to go back with this being right here. All right, I think I got everything. So let me try to show you now. <clears throat> so again, you see the flat part is on the right, the flat part of the transistor. And so, the, so that means pin 1 is going through rail 16, and pin 1 is the drain. And so drain goes to this speaker so that's exactly how I have it here's the, the schematic again pin one is drain two is gate three is source and so um, transistor I go in the gate pin two and then right here it comes out 16 to the 3.5 millimeter jack and then 17 you can see that blue connection it goes on rail 17 which uh, connects it to ground so this side is built out I believe and next we need to do connect we'll end up connecting the other this one of these other wires here for uh from the uh 3.5 millimeter jack to the other end of um the other pat one of these i have two of them but as it turns out i'll have to leave it there i'll come back tomorrow around the same time i am uh i've got to get back to work so it's fun. Um, let's see. Breadboard pin. Uh, let's see. Dean into 16. Yes. Yes, that's right. Dean into 16. All right, guys. <clears throat> Thank you for joining me for a minute. And uh, like I said, I'll come back tomorrow. I'll add some more um, wherever the other, end, other uh, push touch paddle is. I'll add some leads to that. Here it is. So, so what I'll do is I'll add more leads to this one this touch pedal i have another resistor so basically i'm just going to build the same thing out there's the resistor and then here's a transistor in this bag here so so those will build, be built out on the other side very simple and then um we'll plug in a power source this is the power source that's going to go in that little box that i have it's got like a it's like a wafer one and i've, I've already put leads on it so we'll, we'll add this to so that it has some power because uh, this paddle does require power. Um, there are some that don't, but this one does. It's fine. It's just very simple, so that makes it okay. Thanks again for joining, and I will catch you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye.